What is up? I'm Moana Turtle. So today we are doing a Pokemon Open. We got eight packs of Unbroken Bonds, but we're primarily here to go over the recent news that got announced. Let's switch over to PokeBeach.com. PokeBeach.com. And as always, a uh, huge shout out to Water Pokemon Master. Uh, a little bit late, it's three days ago, but the tag teams that are coming out in Remix Re remix bout to be released soon in J japanese um is essentially the starters each have a tag team and charizard already has one v star but i'm super happy that blastoise is finally getting his own tag team let's hit the venusaur first this one's very cool so let's just look at the art real quick looks pretty dope with uh, venusaur and snivy i like the art and so the shining vine ability it's very cool so whenever you attach a grass energy from your hand to this pokemon essentially it's not a guzma effect but i think like a custom catcher or something basically you can swap out your opponent's active pokemon so like when this guy's on the field nothing is safe the only thing is that at least that means that this thing has to be the active um so unless they're going to then use their own switch or something like that uh and it's super uh, you know, nothing on your bench is safe from Venusaur and Snivy GX. For its attack, for its dump, for a grass and three colorless. Uh, it's basic though, so you can't use triple acceleration. It is 160 damage, which is pretty good. And then for three colorless Sol Solar Blast GX, the damage does 50 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Um, doesn't sound that great. I feel like it's kind of a unlikely it'll be very useful but it can obviously just splash uh aoe damage to your entire your opponent's bench and stuff like that and get a bunch of knockouts at the time if you have additional two energy to it heal all damage for your each of your pokemon i almost wonder if the solar blast the healing is almost more valuable than the splash attack all right we went over last time uh charizard and breaks in but in case you didn't see that video art looks absolutely amazing and for Shining Flare, 180 damage. This thing, you tutor up three cards in your deck and add it to your hand. Uh, while the damage is not as high as compared to Reshiram, Reshizard, um, that, that effect is absolutely amazing. And then Crimson Flame Pillar, attach five basic energies to your discard pile to any of your Pokemon. If you have additional one, your opponent's that Pokemon is now burnt and confused. Um, I'm never a fan of these GX to set up attacks. But either way, I love the art. And finally... The one we've been waiting for, Blastoise and Piplup. <laughs> so I feel like that art is amazing. Uh, I never thought Piplup could be look so so intense and ready to fight, but that one, this art does do it. So let's take a look. Splash Maker, 150 damage. Attach up to three water energies to your Pokemon in any way you like. And then, very cool, is you heal 50 damage uh, for each of those Pokemon, for each energy. Uh, so the important part is that you can stack that. So if you only have, let's say, two Blastoise uh, in Piplup GX, you can heal 150 damage on the other one. Basically set it up for next turn as well. And then Bubble Launcher, 100 damage. Your Pokemon, opponent's Pokemon is now um, paralyzed. Doesn't sound that good, but then if you have an additional 300, it does an additional 150. Uh, so that is pretty strong 250 at that point. Uh, but more importantly, like, you know, with all the Reshidors running rampant around, um, this guy puts a stop to, I feel like, pretty quickly you know the Reshizard deck just because it's water type uh, and Splash Maker will take it out in one hit uh, and there's one more synergy I want to talk about it's with Blastoise himself so with Splash Maker essentially at that point you have six energy on your Pokemon and if you do have if you happen to put it on whoops the Blastoise GX uh, that's already released then that really makes Rocket Splash really strong shuffle any amount of water energy from your Pokemon into your deck uh, this attack does 60 damage for each card shuffled. So it kind of like loads up this attack as well. So I do feel like there's a good amount of synergy uh, between Blastoise Tag Team as well as Blastoise GX. Um, I guess the only thing about Splash Maker, you need to have them in your hand. I'm not sure what the best way to get a lot of energy into your hand is. I feel like that's the puzzle, the last piece of the puzzle to figure out. So let me know in a comment down below what your thoughts are are on these three what are you which one are you excited for the most for me definitely the blastoise uh piplup tag team okay so with all the news being uh now that we hit all the news let's get into this opening all right so we have eight packs of unbroken bonds and uh yeah soon soon we'll be hunting for blastoise uh piplup actually it'll probably be a little bit 
But until then, we are of course searching for Reshizards. And let's see if we can start. I feel like uh, pretty f we have a good uh pretty often we have we hit some some magical hits right off the bat. Let's see if we can't do that right here. We have a Murkrow, Rhyhorn, Meltan, Slowpoke in the bath. Ooh, Meowth with his plushes. I'm still eyeballing a Larvitar plush on Plaza Japan. And then Rhyperior, regular rare. Alright, let's move on to pack number two. As always guys, if you do want to support the channel, or if you enjoy this video, you can simply, uh, you can support the channel by hitting that like button down below, and if you're not already a subscriber, definitely hit that sub button. We do Pokemon content essentially every single day, we do Magic the Gathering, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh sometimes. Alright, we got a Tentacool, Drowsy, Ekans for the reverse, and then a Raichu regular rare. Alright, we only have 8 packs two days, but uh, hopefully that is enough to get a single hit, at least. Usually when we do 10, I'm very confident. 8, obviously, I'm a little less confident. <laughs> and I hate the idea of getting shut out. We have Poliwhirl. Love that art. The Evolution Spray. Metapod. Alolan Diglett. Slowpoke again. Litten. A Sandshrew. Murkrow. Ooh, Cottony. Still have yet to try the Whimsicott deck. And, ooh, Arcanine, Hollow. This card's actually very good. Uh, I feel like it's used uh, for its heat tackle, it's quite strong. And with the Reshizar decks, it's kind of like a nice thing to tech in. Um, I wonder if that's like a solid counter to Celesteela. Although I'm not sure how often Celesteela is played. Alright, still no hits on to pack number four. We have a Metal Energy, Weeping Bell, Firo, Charger Bug, Mistrevious, Glam Meow, Growlithe, Ghastly, I just said Ekans, a Togepi, Reverse is Ultra Force, Carton Void, and will we get our first hit? We have a. Ooh, Venomoth Jack, so it is a hit. <laughs> uh, now we're that excited to see Venomoth. Uh, I feel like this card is. Not that good. Between Venomoth and Murkrow, I Persian at least has pretty has a pretty cool ability. Um, the Murkrow, I'm not even sure if there is a Murkrow deck. If there's if there's a Murkrow deck that I'm not giving enough its due credit, let me know in a comment down below. But uh, for some reason, I feel like that Murkrow card is terrible. All right, so we did get our hit. Uh, yeah, we got a Venomoth. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Porygon 2, Martial Arts Doge. I think I'm happier about, more, I'm happier about the Arcanine. Uh, but, alright, let's keep going. Let's get one more then. So land it. Glam Meow. A Caterpie Reverse. Very cute. And then a Dugong. I feel like people are playing Dugong. Discard two energy cards from this Pokemon. This attack does 60 damage to two of your bench Pokemon. Uh, opponent's Pokemon don't apply weakness for bench Pokemon. I wonder if it's just a counter to uh, Reshizard. What the heck? <laughs> How do we pull the cards out without hitting the code card? It's like, wait, what just happened? How is there no code card in here? Alright. So, moving on to the next pack. We have a Chat It, Electromagnetic Radar. Card's actually not bad. Jigglypuff, Bellsprout, Diglett, Poliwag. Coughing for the reverse, and oh, nice! Rushizard himself. Uh, that's a that's an awesome pull for uh, the video where we're talking about the next set of tag teams, and we pull the most expensive tag team from Unbroken Bonds. Oh, it's been a while since we pulled a Rushizard, so very happy with that. Still have yet to get the full art one, uh, although obviously the biggest chase one is that rainbow. So there we go, huge hit, <laughs> much better than the Venomoth. That is something to celebrate. Uh, and do so with me by hitting that like button down below, guys. All right, we got two packs left. Can Is there any fire left? Emphasis on fire left in this opening. We have Triple Acceleration Energy, Fairy Charm, Meltan, Slowpoke again, We're pulling a bunch of those, Whooper, Sandile, 
another Meowth, Glam Meow, and then Togekiss. Man, Togepi was so cute, cute, and then Togetic started to get kind of weird, and now this airplane is very strange. All right, last pack. We already hit two GXs off of just eight packs. I feel like we've hit our quota, but maybe there's a little bit left in the tank. Fire Crystal, good card right there. Surprise Box, Wooper, Sandile, Meowth, Grubbin, Geodude, Victory Bell, love that art. And then a regular rare Hypno. Okay, so that's it for the opening. Uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on those new tag teams coming out very soon. And for our polls, we have a Venomoth GX, which is, yeah, we got a GX. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! The big hit, the Reshiram Charizard. This card is so good. Um, Flare Strike, you know, just Kiawe, and then next turn Flare Strike, such a strong opener. Uh, and it's hard to take them out, and if you don't take them out right away, if you don't have a good plan, um, I feel like your deck just isn't viable right now. Um, Alright, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.